So let me apologize uh, for the inconvenience, you know. I understand today is a busy day and uh, all of you have been moving from uh, one venue to another. Uh, so my apologies for that. As you might have all uh, seen during the course of the presentation, uh, the Mumbai International Film Festival, the 18th version of the Mumbai International Film Festival is slated to start from the 15th of this month. It's a program that's going to go on from 15th till 21st, June 2024. And uh, we realize that, you know, they're just getting very close to the event and it's important that uh, we inform the media uh, in advance, uh, not just here but all across the country. Because as you might have noticed uh, in the course of the presentation, this time, although the main event is happening, as the name suggests, it's happening in Mumbai, uh, from, sorry, from 15th of uh, June, but this time we have actually you know, spread it across the geography of our country, and the event is going to be held in parallel across multiple towns within our country. We will also have screenings happening in Delhi here in the Siri Fort Auditorium. We will also have screenings in Kolkata, we will have screenings in Pune, we will also have screenings in Chennai. So while the main conference is going to be, and, and all the master classes etc. are going to be conducted in Mumbai, there will be a lot of activity for people here in Delhi as well. And we thought you know, this is an opportunity for us to inform all of you so that we can provide some space to this very important festival and a lot of people who are interested in documentaries, a lot of people who are interested in short films, there are a lot of people who are interested in animation. In fact, rather there are there are more people now interested in this kind of uh, you know this 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 aspect of filmmaking than than the feature film uh, versions. And we thought it would be an opportunity for us to uh, inform all of them about this very important event that's going to be happening. In, in this city as well as across the country in uh, starting next week, next Saturday. Friends, as you all can see, Mumbai International Film Festival has a uh, huge history. It started in 1990. We have, we have had 17 versions, 17 versions of uh, Mumbai International Film Festival. And uh, as I understand, there are Actually, large number of actors in our country, large number of performers, large number of uh, uh, cine producers, cine directors, and those associated with filmmaking who have actually uh, kind of started their career with Mumbai International Film Festival. So it's it's a great opportunity, and this is coming at the uh, in the backdrop of our recent performance at the Cannes Film Festival, where all of you are aware. Uh, Unprecedented success was achieved by our filmmakers. So I think this is uh, another opening and another opportunity for us to, uh, you know, make a, a pivotal place for our country, create a pivotal place for our country in the, in the international film uh, festival landscape. As you can all see, uh, this festival has uh, had. Uh, a, Good run till now. We have had large number of entries. I understand this is a record number. Close to thousand film submissions were made, and now you have three hundred odd films which have now entered the programming section, coming in from over fifty nine countries and across sixty one languages. I think this shows the importance of uh, an event like this uh, in terms of not just the diversity, but at the same time, you know, in allowing our soft power to go out and you know multiple countries taking interest in this festival, making submissions and uh, becoming a part of this very important event. As you can all see, the, the opening program, the inaugural program is slated to be held in Mumbai on the 15th and uh, as Prithu just now pointed out, we have uh, also lined up a uh, lot of events happening in Delhi as well. You have uh, red carpets being arranged in, in Delhi, uh, as well as all the other towns. Delhi is going to be held on 17th of June, Chennai is 18th, Kolkata 19th, Pune 20th, and while you will have red carpets happening in Mumbai every day. 
We have also lined up uh, very interesting schedules, uh, not just in the competition section, but across uh, other parallel sessions which are going to be held in, as part of this program. As you can also see that uh, this program has uh, a delegate registration and uh, we have decided to make it voluntary so that more and more people can join it and uh, already a lot of uh, ideas on many registrations have happened but I would request all of you to impress upon your uh, viewers as well as readers to know about this very important festival and uh, become a part of this festival. Mumbai International Film Festival is arguably uh, South Asia, that is the oldest and the largest film festival. And the good thing is that this time we are not just creating opportunities for those who want to experience and view such films, but an opportunity for our filmmakers to be in a position to exhibit their wares and get buyers to create a, a kind of a, a bazaar in which uh, such, such films could be transacted upon. And, and this is being held for the first time. And uh, I think this will allow our people to uh, get exposed to what's happening in the world. At the same time, this will also give them an opportunity to get some capital into this particular segment. As you all understand, uh, in many of these projects, there will be there will not be too much of a commercial uh, aspect involved. So that's why the, the the starting of the film bazaar or the doc, film documentary documentaries film bazaar is going to be a very important step in this direction. As was mentioned, uh, we are one of the biggest film producing countries in the world. Close to about two thousand films are being produced in our country every year, multiple languages. In fact, if uh, one has to mention two important sources of entertainment in our country, uh, we will have cricket on one side and possibly cinema on the other. And uh, both of them have a uh, uh, huge place in, in our culture, in our entertainment culture. At the same time, uh, when it comes to uh, movies, we also have both uh, commercial movies being made out, but at the same time, a lot of parallel cinema being done. And I think that's all that is a, is a good sign for creating a very diverse filmmaking and film world culture in our country. And such festivals, which are, which are held once in two years, it's a biennial event, also provide opportunity to a lot of independent filmmakers in our country. Those who could not, those who would normally not have access to big studios, big funding, they will all be in a position to come here and you know get uh, you know occupy occupy an important place in the uh, overall country's um, film landscape. But at the same time, it will provide them a lot of networking opportunities, create a lot of B two B moments, and uh, some of these impressions would also help them advance not just their own business, but at the same time, it will also help them in uh, creating opportunities for. Uh, uh, the overall ecosystem, because as you understand, filmmaking is, is an ecosystem business. You, have, you require, uh, from from start to finish, if you look at it, there are a large number of st stakeholders involved. The supply chain is really diverse. Uh, at the same time, everybody has their own unique set, unique requirements. At the same time, people come in with their own USPs and their own experiences, and all this put together ultimately, you know, culminates in the form of the movies that we see. It's a, it's a fairly wide landscape and a supply chain and it's important that festivals like this start catering to uh, this uh, huge landscape. It's good that this time uh, uh, Indian animation, as you all understand, animation and VFX have now become integral to filmmaking. I mean, all of us have seen what Bahubali and RRR did or uh, there are other movies where uh, a lot of animation as well as VFX are being used. And all these movies have also got uh, uh, not just opportunity for our own filmmakers, but at the same time it's a huge opportunity for our economy because there are a large number of foreign films which are also getting their post-production work done in our country. So that's why animation is a very important segment 
uh, which has been brought into the Mumbai International Film Festival. He has good intellectual property as far as Indian uh, characters are concerned in the animation segment. You have the likes of Chota Bheem, you have the Hanuman series, you have the Chacha Chudu Chaudhary, you have the Motu Patlu, you have the Fresh Fresh Bal Balti Boy. Many such projects have not just earned good, good name here, but they have also achieved international recognition. And I think these are these properties which ultimately are going to bring in uh, not just uh, foreign capital, at the same time it will also help us enhance our own soft power. 